Good morning and welcome to Vlogtober. Oh yes. Um, you'll have to excuse me if I'm looking off to the side a bit. I, I'm not quite used to recording on the phone yet. Uh, and I can see myself, but I'm not in the right place. Oh, you know what it's like. Anyway. Uh, yes, Vlogtober. <laughs> see what I did there. Um, basically, I've never done a vlog um, on a regular basis. And I've got a lot going on this month, so I thought it'd be quite good to capture it all on film. Um, it's, as you can see, it's very early. I don't even have makeup on yet. Oh. <laughs> got my trusty coffee. I've got Miss Maddie here. Oops. Miss Maddie's asleep. And for those of you doing um, Whimsical Workspaces 2, let me show you what your contributions have done so far. Gypsy! Let's see if we can get a Gypsy! Gypsy! Where's Gypsy girl? She's very, very, very shy. She's a foster. Uh, and she's a very nervous girl. So I've taken her in. She's, she was an emergency foster. Um, she had to come in to somewhere quickly. Um, it's taking a long time to get her to trust me and, you know, she really is a work in progress. I'm still going to see Trigger on Wednesday, um, but thank you. Thank you, thank you to everybody who um, contributed to Whimsical Workspaces. Or a few people said they didn't want to do the course and actually made a donation through the site. And I'm really, I really appreciate it. All the, the funds from... Whimsical workspaces are going towards, uh, first of all, adopting a playmate for Miss Maddie, um, because she needs a friend. And because I've got some extra, I've actually been able to, like I say, foster this girl. Um, and obviously, you know, that costs extra money to feed and everything else. So, um, yeah, all the, all the donations from that are, are going towards their upkeep. And anything extra is going towards um, their vet. Uh, vet bills and things. Uh, so the adoption fee for Trigger, I don't know how much it's going to be yet. Uh, it should be somewhere between 80 and 200 pounds depending on various different factors. Um, so that goes to UK German Shepherd Rescue and it's not payment for him. You don't buy your dog. You're basically donating towards another dog to take his place. So yeah. We've got a foster. We're hopefully, hopefully, Maddie and I are going down to Coventry on Wednesday to go and see Trigger. Um, and in the meantime, I just had a call from the vets. Bear's ashes are back, so I have to go and pick him up. Um, it'd be nice to have him back in the house, though. It's been an odd week. Um, I miss him. Hmm... But at the same time, I don't feel overly upset. You know, I, I only feel upset about it if I start thinking about it too much. Um, in all honesty, I've been too busy to, to think too much. But I, I do miss him. I miss my cuddles in the morning. He used to sit and cuddle me while I was drinking my coffee. And now I don't I don't get my bear cuddles anymore. Um, Crow's doing well. She's over there, look. Let me see if I can show you. There's Miss Crow. She won't let me take away the blanket. That's the blanket that we, I laid Bear out on when he died. Um, and she won't let me move it. She's, she goes crazy at me if I try and move it. I need to take it off and wash the damn thing because it stinks. <laughs> but she won't let me move it. <laughs> oh, crazy girl. Um, so, yeah, the today's plan, I've got to finish my coffee because, as you can see, I'm not even vaguely awake. Then I've got to go down the vets and pick up Bear and I'm going to take Gypsy with me and just get her a quick check up and get her weighed and everything and um, get her teeth checked. My vet is absolutely brilliant. They will do that for free for any dog that you bring in um, the first time. Um, so when, when you adopt a dog, they'll do a free check up and a free, they scan for chips and check the teeth and all that basic stuff that the nurses can do. Um, and then I'm coming back and I'm going to start on Whimsical Workspaces Day 1. If you're in the class, uh, all the stuff is up already. 
and um, yeah, it's going to be a fun day. It's going to be a fun day. Well, not all fun. It's a bit mixed, mixed bag, really, but I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be... I'm looking forward to getting into my studio and starting to clear out. So I will be back later with a bit more, hopefully. Uh, maybe looking a little bit more awake, possibly. And um, showing you where I'm up to with my room. I was just about to take uh, the dogs out to go down the vet. I'm not going out in that. <laughs> Hello, Kit Kat. All right. I was going to take the dogs out for a, a run, but um, it is so wet. They can wait for a little while until it stops raining so badly. <laughs> it's absolutely hammering down. It's crazy outside. So while I'm waiting, um, I think I can swap this to record the other way around. Let me just see. There we go. You'll have to excuse me if I sound a bit wheezy today. I've, I've picked up a cold from somewhere. Right, so this is my studio. It's a mess, as you can see. It's very tempting to start picking up trash bags and clearing up after Madam. She brought a stick in this morning. Little minx. But, um, no, I'm going to leave it. That's not today's area. going to be good. I've decided that I'm going to split my room into... Um, uh, four areas. Um, first task for today is to clear this lot. And I'm going to clear it off onto the shelves there and into this corner here. So, because I, I can't do anything, I, I need space to work. I can't even work in my journal at the moment because I have to clear my desk first before I start. So, that is task one, day one. My area one is clearing that lot. <clears throat> My area two, which will be tomorrow, is going to be those two shelves at the back plus the box at the back there. My area three, yes, I'm doing this in my head as I go because I'm a goblin. We do that. We plan in our heads. Um, area three will be this section and this section. Area four will be what's left here, because there's really not an awful lot here. It's just a few bits and pieces. So, yeah, it's basically just tidying up over here, really. And then, because I haven't really finished unpacking, let me take you through to the bedroom. You might get to see Gypsy at this point, if you're lucky. Here she is, doing a runner. There she is. She's a beautiful girl. She's been hiding in the bed. Isn't she pretty? There she is, look. Uh, yeah, I've got stuff in my room um, that isn't, hasn't been unpacked from when I moved in yet. So I thought I'd split my bedroom into two and, you know, just organise that. Because I've got, it's a bit bland down there. It could do with sorting out. And obviously I've got some clothes that need sorting out. I've got some hangers coming tomorrow. So, um, and it's a bit, you know, it just doesn't, it's just not got much personality right now. So, I'm going to sort that out, I think. There's Miss Gypsy, let's see, there she is. She's a pretty girl. She's a very shy look. And Miss Maddie, who's not shy at all, are you, baby? So, yeah, that's uh, areas five and six for me. Um... Because I've split so much out of my main studio, I don't really need six days for this. I know what I'm capable of in a day, and I can do this in four. So, yeah, hopefully by the time I come back next, this lot will be cleared. Uh, and it's not about sorting and organising or anything. I'm just, literally, I'm going to have a bin bag next to me for anything that needs chucking and anything that's 
staying or needs sorting or organising or whatever is going onto those shelves for sorting later. Sometime later. <laughs> okay, this is what I've managed to do. Um, my desk is not completely clear, but it's clear enough for now. Um, this one is clear. As you can see, it's all it's got is my computer things and a light and a pot of paintbrushes. The stuff on here is stuff that I already know that I'm going to need when I'm journaling later. So I've got, this is just my pot where I put all my pencil shavings and stuff. It's like a little caddy that I use as a bin. I've got my little pot of, it's, it's just got basic tools in like my exacto knife, my palette knife, my tweezers, uh, nail file, that kind of thing. My paint palette, which I use. Every paintbrush I found, I just rounded up into that little pot there. I haven't done anything with them. I've just chucked them all in it. I've got my, obviously my camera and everything is set up. I've got my um, cutting mat and um, craft sheet. My rags and papers that I'm not throwing away because obviously I use them. My pot of water. My tall pot that holds my rulers and my... Um, quill pen and things like that. These are just little things that they need sorting out but I can do them next week. So I'm putting them in with like cleaning and stuff. And my phone wallet which I like to keep on my desk so I know where it is. If I move it now I will never find it again so it's staying on my desk. Um, and I've also put out one of my journals. This is the journal that I started for um, Susie Blue's journal dream class. And I haven't been able to carry on with the class because I haven't finished, I couldn't find the journal since I moved. Uh, and I just found it on my desk. So apparently when I moved in, I thought I'll put that on my desk so I know where it is. And then it disappeared. <laughs> so I've left that out specifically so that I know where it is later when I need it. And I will put all my other journals on the desk, uh, like the ones I'm doing the classwork for, for this. I haven't done anything up here except chucked a few rolls of tape and paint and things up there that, because that was already organised. I don't really need to worry about that. And as you can see, everything that was on the desk is now pretty much put onto these shelves. And I've tried to do it fairly systematically, if you like. Um, this is the shelf that I use most often for chucking things on. It's a bit of a dump zone, so all the stuff that came off the desk that is dumped, like um, gessos and old artwork and magazine paper pages and my old journal and things like that, that all went on there. Stuff that I'd pulled out that I hardly ever use went back into that corner because that is my hardly ever used corner. And anything else I didn't know what to do with or that needed to go in a different room has gone into this shelf. And my big stuff has gone over here, so my fun bag it's not really a fun bag it's like a essentials bag if I had to go out journaling for the day that's what I'd pick up um, I haven't sorted anything into it I've just chucked it over there I'll worry about it later all my big pads and things and any books and stuff have gone over there and as you can see I actually did pick up stuff off the floor because Miss Maddie likes to chew things so we end up with cola bottles and Pringles boxes and cat food wrappers and things where she's brought them up here. So it'll take five minutes to clean them up, but that's not today's job, so I'm just going to ignore it. It's a good practice. I'm not trying to clean today. I just wanted to get a clear desk. And I have achieved that, so I'm quite happy. So that's today's job done, and I've earned myself ten karma points. Woohoo! Don't know what I'm going to spend them on yet. Um... I haven't done my recording and planning and things. Well, I did. I, I did my before pictures because I did a video. I was going to take still photos, for, but I can take still shots off the video instead. So there you go. That's, that's it for what I've done today. I will see you all again tomorrow. <laughs>